And it developed uh, quickly, you know, it went from we were just looking at rain and then now some of those ingredients as we're getting closer, they're starting to come together a little bit. So we're seeing that potential for severe weather, which is why we have declared it a first alert weather day. But that's round two of storms. We're also tracking this first round of rain that moves in tonight. Heavy rain is possible. That's going to last into the morning commute. And then Wednesday's secondary round, that's the one prompting the first alert weather day. It is a low end severe risk, but something we are watching very closely. This is our best chance of rain that we have seen in weeks. But here's round one. It's in Oklahoma right now. Not too impressive, but it will bring us some rainfall late tonight. And again, continuing through that morning commute. This is the Farmington BJC Sky Cam. We're looking to the southwest where that rain is coming from, and you'll notice cloud cover is already increasing ahead of those showers that we're seeing tonight. Temperatures rising as well. The high pressure is pulling in some of that warmer air, so we're going to have temperatures near the 80s today. Weeds are a little bit of an issue. They're in the low category, so is the mold grass and trees not a problem they're not showing up on the allergy report 81 for the high temp today light wind wind will pick up as we get the rain increase in 77 by six o'clock and temperatures will start to taper off from that by 9 p.m what about that first round again it comes out of oklahoma basically riding along 44 just expecting some showers out of this this is the four o'clock hour might hear some rumbles of thunder no severe weather that it looks to be wednesday when we'll see that this is the morning commute time right around eight o'clock nine o'clock the intensity of the rain starts to increase a little bit. You're going to be running into those heavier downpours, so just make sure you drive slowly. Plan on that tomorrow morning. It clears out. We have a bit of a calm before round two that develops off of a cold front that right now is up to the northwest. And given the risk, we're at that threat level one out of five for severe weather. It does include the metro and all areas to the south. This is for Wednesday. If any storms reach severe limits, we're looking at a strong wind gust and even wind or diameter of hail up to two inches. There is still some uncertainty on the timing of this as it develops off of that cold front but it's looking at like the morning and into the afternoon that there is potential for seeing those strong to severe storms. With that being said, it quickly develops and passes through the area. This is a very fast moving cold front and we'll be left with chilly air behind it. So there's multiple timelines that we're tracking. It's going to be tonight. They're going to have to pay attention to just rain and then Wednesday in the morning starting when you'll have to pay attention to that risk for severe weather. And that's why we have it as the first alert weather day again. Hey, and wind as the main threats. Once it clears out, we're looking at cooler temperatures. So 60s come Thursday once all is said and done and the rain passes through. Mm -hmm. That's not the only time of rain that I'm watching for. The second half of the weekend also have another chance of showers. So we've had this stretch for the sure. last couple of weeks where things have been relatively calm here. Now that's starting to change a little bit, mm -hmm. where the atmosphere is getting a little bit more active and that's one of the reasons why we're seeing those storms. Yeah, but still a lot of dry days in there that we can enjoy, too. We're, we'll have outdoor uh, yeah. time and plenty of it. All right, Leah, thank you. We'll stay with us.